These are the top five technologies that never seem to die. At number five, gesture controllers. We've been controlling computers with keyboards and pointing devices for a very long time. But every now and then, we look to use something else, like gestures. We saw the Power Glove, U-Force, the Wii, and the Kinect in the video game world. These days, things like the Leap Motion exist to control your PC with a wave of your hand. But no gesture control system anywhere has truly taken over the world yet. At number four, smartwatches. For some reason, a watch just can't be a watch. Remember the Casio data bank? What about the Timex data link? Spot watches? And today's generation of watches, including the Samsung Gear S2 and the Apple Watch. For some reason, we can't let go of the concept of a smartwatch. At number three, the stylus. Bill Gates touted pen computing in 2002, over a decade ago. Steve Jobs declared the stylus to be unnecessary with the introduction of the iPhone. So what happened? The stylus is still not dead. Check out the Galaxy Note, the Surface Pro, and the iPad Pro with pencil accessory. At number two, virtual reality. Being somewhere you're not is a dream of many of us socially awkward people. Many movies have shown off the glory of VR, but so far, nothing in reality has ever matched the fiction we've seen on screen. But VR refuses to die, even after the Nintendo Virtual Boy gave it a go. And at number one, the technology that refuses to die, 3D. In the 1950s, 3D movies were introduced and it was a big gimmick to get people into theaters. Wearing red and blue glasses didn't become the future of the medium. For a while, 3D lay dormant, except for the few movies that wanted to get more moviegoers in seats. However, in the early 2000s, 3D movies using polarized lenses changed things. And that's how we see a lot of 3D content now. One day, we might truly enjoy 3D without glasses. And that's why 3D won't die after over 60 years. I'm Matt Ayaz. For more top fives like this, visit top5.cnet.com.